Well, good morning, everyone. It's Nolan from RN Customs. Had a Facebook post that got a little bit of traction, and some people were wanting to see a review on this. And uh, excuse the house, we're getting siding redone right now, so <clears throat> it doesn't look the best, but uh, we'll get right into it. What I'm using are 15 100 watt eco worthy bifacial panels. I'll show one of the um, stickers on the back here in a second. Yeah, I got 15 of them, got them on eBay. Um, they usually run a 20% sale every once in a while, but there's a limit of ordering two at a time. So, you know, friends, family, have them order, send them PayPal, Venmo, get them paid. Um, that's how I did it. I was able to order two sets and then my parents ordered a set for me and just gave them cash and did it that way so I could get the sale on all of them. How they're mounted is I have eco-worthy tilting brackets, aluminum tilting brackets. Um, and the biggest the eco-worthy makes is 45 inches. Well, 45 inches only would have been enough for the first two panels. So what I ended up doing is layering two 45 inch brackets together. As you can see, that's where they connect. <clears throat> Come to the back here. And as you can see, the channels on this side over here, but then over here. So I flipped them. Tried to uh, bolt it in quite a few places, keep it reinforced. Don't want to don't want to have these things break off real easy in a wind. Um, the gaps, I could have modified the brackets a little bit and tried to get rid of the gaps, but also with these being bifacial, I'm letting light through to bounce back. And also wind, it's less of a wind catch when there's that break, I would assume. At least that's how I see it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, so each each panel or each you know set, it's the three bifacials, one 45 watt or 45 inch bracket, and then half of another 45 inch bracket basically. So you're gonna need one and a half 45 inch brackets per setup like this if you were to replicate what I did. Um, so that pretty much covers these. Let me grab that sticker before I forget. And I don't know, I think I'll be able to, or is it on the front? It must be on the front on these. I'm used to my not, oh yeah, there we go. I'll leave that there for just a second. We got a VOC of 24.5. Pause the video if you guys need to see anything else. I'm going to start backing away. I'll actually show you that too. That's the model number for these panels that I'm using. Haven't used them very long, so I can't speak on longevity. I've got some eco-worthy panels right there. These are non-bifacial 100 watts. I've had those for probably... Four or five months out here, I built a little wheelable cart and I could pull it around. And uh, that's, what, that's what I was using. My brother had let me borrow his Delta II. So I was using this to run his Delta II for a while. And then when I got my Delta Pro, I said, well, I need a little bit more solar. So that's when this puppy was built. So for my little cart deal here, it's an old running gear from a hay rack. Stripped all the old busted wood off, and I added these beams here. I'll show you what those actually came from. Way out in the distance, in the middle, not, the, not this pole, not that pole, but the one in the middle, way out there. A couple years ago, the uh, electric company came out and they had to redo those. And these beams, these big beams, actually came off a part of that setup, and uh, they were just throwing them out. You know, they're 50-year-old big boards, but... My dad was talking to a couple of the electricians that were doing it, and he goes, hey, he's like, you guys don't mind. You just want to leave some here. So we have, shit, probably 10 to 20 of these 27-foot boards. And so dad and I were like, screw it. We'll grab that, throw it on here. That'd be a nice, sturdy beam. And then added some treated 2 by 4s on top for the runners, for the uh, brackets. And so far, so good. There is a little bit of fog right now over the sun. And I don't know how many degrees it is. We're about probably between 70 and 80 right now. So it's not super cold out, but we're getting a little bit over a thousand watts off this 1500 watts currently. 
not many clouds in the sky but again there's a little bit of a fog so yesterday i was getting better results and it was a little bit cooler but I mean, I'm, I'm happy with a thousand watts with these panels because i want to say i paid oh man it would have been 102 bucks i think per two so like 51 52 dollars a panel after shipping and tax um i could have went with bigger panels but to balance that voltage it was kind of it was looking to be pretty difficult so i thought this would be kind of be an easier way a um, little bit smaller panels a little bit easier to manage could have went with something on santan solar or um, signature solar but then i gotta buy a pallet and it's still 200 dollars shipping unless there's a free shipping sale and all that so i was just trying to do not have a bunch of big panels laying around on hand and these are what i chose had some questions on how i wired this whole setup so I am currently in five series, three parallel. So it's five series, five series, five series. And then I parallel them together. I'll go through that in case you guys aren't familiar. So on the far side of all my panels, I grabbed all the negative leads. Try and get that in view there. So I've got three negative leads, one from each string. And it plugs into my main black wire that goes off to my delta. Um, you take your positives off the first. Then you go into your negatives off your second panel. Then you take your positives off your second panel. You go to all the negatives on your third panel. Positive off the third panel. Negatives of the fourth panel. Positives off the fourth panel. Negatives of your fifth panels. Then you take those positives and you string them all together to a three to one adapter. That then leads into your main red. So <clears throat> as you can see these are the the three uh, positives you got left. So you have three negatives on this end that are open. Once you've you know strung them all together, you got three positives on this end. Put them to your main lines and they go to your delta. We'll do one last check, see what we're pulling in. Still getting a little bit over, almost to 1.1 now. So um, we are in July. I should have these angled a little bit more for my zip code. But after July, it goes back to like the, the roughly 30 to 35 degrees. I think mine are set at 35 currently. Um, peak for July, though, I bet if I tilted these back more to the 22 range, we'd get just a little bit more, maybe maybe up to 1.2 today. But there is that little bit of fog up there in the atmosphere keeping me from, from full uh, wattage. But if you guys have any other questions, if you need me to go into more detail on anything, um, I, I think these brackets, you know, people are going to like them because... I bought a pair or a set of a 58 inch bracket because I wanted to mount the, the panels three high and the 58 inch bracket from a different company used thinner aluminum and this is already thin enough like I would love for these to be thicker um, but the other company used thinner aluminum on a 58 inch bracket than EcoWorthy does on their 45 so I, I was not comfortable spending the more money for the thinner stuff and it was actually cheaper for me to use one and a half of these per Per set than it was to just buy 158 per set so um i most likely will add another reinforcement bar in the future from here to there when we traveled it down the road from my folks house to my place it uh it did it did well but there was definitely i mean it's it's pretty it's i'd say it's pretty sturdy we'll see how it holds up in the wind but i mean it's bolted and you know from the panel spot it's bolted there 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 so it's it's they're, they should be pretty stout. Give you guys one last little walk around. And then, yeah, again, any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.